Good morning, my wonderful pupils. You are all welcome to Omic Mommy's online class. Today's topic is perishable foods and non-perishable foods. We will be learning what perishable foods are, examples of perishable foods, storage of perishable foods, what non-perishable foods are, examples of non-perishable foods, storage of non-perishable foods, importance of proper storage of foods. What are perishable foods? Perishable foods are those foods that can spoil easily. If you look at the screen, these are the examples of perishable foods. Fish, meat, fruits, vegetables. These are more examples of perishable foods. Storage of perishable foods. How can we store our perishable foods? Number one, fruits and vegetables can be stored in the refrigerator. But prolonged storage can cause some of them to lose their taste, color and nutritive values. That is, fruits and vegetables. If you store them for a very long time, they will lose their taste, color, and their nutritive value. What do you, what do you understand by nutritive value? Nutri nutritive values are the nutrients that you're supposed to obtain or get from the food. Number two, fresh meat, blended pepper, fish can be stored in the freezer. Number three, perishable foods can also be processed into another form that can be stored for very long periods. For example, some vegetables can be dried, while fish and meat can be smoked. Number four, fruits and vegetables can be stored at the, lower, at the lowest part of the refrigerator. Some vegetables can be stored in the freezer. For example, pepper, washed bitter leaf, etc. Now, what are non-perishable foods? Non-perishable foods are those foods that do not spoil easily. For example, beans, maize, rice. If you look at the screen properly, you can see some examples of non-perishable foods. This can be kept for a very this can be kept for a long time if stored properly. These are more examples of non-perishable foods. Storage of non-perishable foods. What are the storage of non-perishable foods? Number one, store dry foods in dry and well-covered container. Number two, store only food that are free from weevils. If you look at the screen, if you look at those mains there, you will see some insects there. Those insects are called weevils. These weevils attack cereals, legumes, if they are not well dried. Weevils are small insects that destroy our grains and pulses. Number three, foods such as beans, maize, and so on can be stored for a very long period in an airtight container. If you look at the screen, you can see that those two containers on the screen you can store these non-perishable foods. Remember, those that are free from weevils. Now, what are the importance of proper storage of foods? It saves time and energy from going to the market always. It prevents loss of food nutrients. It prevents food from spoilage. Children, I want you to watch this video on perishable foods and non-perishable food, foods. Food. Food is any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth. 
the food commodities are of two types that is perishable foods and non perishable foods perishable foods are those commodities which deteriorate quickly when not stored properly perishable commodities usually require some sort of refrigerated storage the non perishable commodities have a long shelf life and don't require refrigeration some of the perishable foods include dairy products and eggs or milk and milk products these are derived from or based upon milk which include creams yogurts butter cheese and ice cream all dairy products need to be kept well sealed when in storage the second one is meat and poultry meat and poultry should be stored on clean trays and covered with plastic wrap meat can be stored in the cool room for 4 to 6 days or if vacuum sealed up to 12 weeks third one is seafood seafood has a very short shelf life and must be stored with extra care it should be stored at 1 degree celsius live seafood such as crab should be kept at temperature between 1 to 3 degree celsius in sealed containers next is cooked foods and leftovers these are also considered perishable and should be stored in the cool room at between 3 to 4 degree celsius cooked foods should be covered before storage and need to be stored separate from raw foods and never on the same tray always allow hot foods to completely cool prior to refrigeration the last one is fruit and vegetables fruits and vegetables vary in their storage requirements but as a general rule most fruit and vegetables should be stored between 5 and 9 degrees celsius fruits and vegetables require a higher temperature storage that is between 7 and 10 degree celsius some of the non perishable foods include flour or atta spices canned foods nuts and packed foods these items are usually kept in the dry store where they are kept cool and are protected from moisture contamination dry goods like flour grains and pasta often come in bags or sacks and are not safe from vermin or weevils and should be transferred to clean storage bins with tightly fitting lids some jars such as caviar are actually perishable and should be stored appropriately thank you Children, I hope you've learned more on how to store our perishable foods and non-perishable foods. From the video, I learned that cooked foods should be separated from raw foods. Now, children, you have assignments. Make sure you do your assignments. Stay two ways of keeping food safe. My wonderful pupils. attend your quiz and assignment on the edmodo platform my wonderful pupils please stay safe stay healthy see you next time bye